the address by the honorable president of india is very significant very very significant because because immense progress that india has achieved after 2014 14 to till now has been compared with that of the misrule of congress party between uh, uh, prior to that till 2014 that is to the, the that is 2004 to 2014 the dark rule of congress party <laughs> sir uh, the congress party sir i am referring to this because the congress party has done irreparable damage to andhra pradesh which i would like to bring to the notice in my uh, in the ne next paragraph sir sir the congress party may try to whitewash the past history and make their decades of misrule decades of misrule appear to be positive but people of this country will never forgive the congress party and its misrule and its cheap and dirty uh, tactics and politics sir particularly in, in indian national congress sir the andhra pradesh is the biggest victim of the misrule of the congress party they have subjected andhra pradesh to the violent and unscientific bifurcation that has ruined the socio economic fabric of the state which can never be forgotten which can never be forgiven and people i am telling you sir people of andhra pradesh will never forgive congress party and it is only the congress party has gone into the history history books and it will never be able to come back to power in andhra pradesh sir sir the andhra pradesh reorganization act i would like to make a mention here sir about the how the ap reorganization act my friend jairam ramesh is not there unfortunately uh, but he he is supposed to be the author of uh, uh, the andhra pradesh reorganization act please please reorganization Dr. bill Amantaya, sir, reorganization bill was listed for consideration and passing in lok sabha on 18th february 2000 14 madam please note down the uh, dates and all sir during the discussion in lok sabha many mps from andhra pradesh including congress mps have raised the voices of concern on three major issues one is water sharing second is electricity sharing and third is revenue distribution and fourth was the capital these four issues have never been addressed by the congress party and the bill has been passed amit din sir 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 instead of giving a concrete reply for the discussion these problems the congress st steamrolled the bill in fact they have they have brushed aside everything and even the concerns that have been raised by their own mps congress mps have been brushed aside and unfortunately it has gone into the annals of the history the Cong during that congress rule all the doors of lok sabha have been closed and cut off live telecast has been cut off and the house has been sealed and the, and the bill has been passed amid din so this is this is how they have ruled the country and this is how the bills have been passed during 2004 and 14 which can never uh, which can never be forgotten and it is there in the history sir numerous demands sir in the course of discussion in the course of discussion numerous demands for division many members of congress own, own congress party have asked for division and that has not been accepted by then then the speaker the bill was passed in just one and half hours such an important bill which has decided the fate of andhra pradesh has been passed amid din with in one and half hours that is the debate what what has taken place in lok sabha sir sir after the lok sabha has passed the bill it has reached rajya sabha on 20th february 2014 madam on 20th february 2014 various demands have been made for the granting of special category status many members in this in this august house have raised the demand for special category status including the the then vice president of india and he was uh, he was the leader of the house at that point of time and he also demanded 
special category status from BJP. He also demanded special category status for a period of 10 years for the residual state of Andhra Pradesh. Sir, uh, the granting of for the successor state of Andhra Pradesh to boost the uh, development in the region, sir. In response to these demands, the then Prime Minister of the Honorable Prime Minister of the country, Sri Manmohan Singh Ji of Congress Party, has categorically and unequivocally promised, I am emphasizing this, sir, unequivocally and categorically emphasized and promised special category status for the residual state of Andhra Pradesh for a period of 10 years. Sir, I would like to uh, bring it to your notice, the verbatim, uh, the speech of uh, the then Honorable Prime Minister, uh, Sri Manmohan Singh Ji, sir. Quote, sir, first, I would like to make a few further announcement in this regard. First, the purpose of central assistance, for the purpose of central assistance, Special category status will be, ex will be extended to the successor state of Andhra Pradesh comprising of 13 districts including 4 districts of Royal Sima and 3 districts of uh, North Coastal Andhra Pradesh for a period of 5 years. This will put the state finance on firmer, firm footing. Unquote, sir. This is the promise what the then Honorable Prime Minister has been made in this August House, sir. Sir, my question to the Congress party, my question to the Congress party is, Congress party could have amended the bill. It was not there in the bill. It was the promise that has been made by the then Honorable Prime Minister on the floor of this August House. Why Congress party has failed to amend the bill? They could have sent back the bill to the Lok Sabha, got it amended and give, uh, and, uh, give a constitutional or uh, legal sanctity to the uh, promise that has been made by the Honorable Prime Minister. Why did they not do it? They are ra rather blaming now the present dispensation, ruling dispensation, and also YSR Congress party, some of their members, including Mani Ma Ma Manik Chan Tagur, some member from Lok Sabha, from Tamil Nadu, who is in charge of Congress party. He is talking nonsense every day, day in and day out. Sir, when they have failed, when they have failed to grant special category status, for the residual state of Andhra Pradesh, where is the necessity for the Congress party to blame other political parties, including YSR Congress party? Sir, this is because the, the, the promise that has been made by the Congress, the then Prime Minister of this country, on this August, on this, on the floor of this August house, is a mere eyewash, is a mere eyewash. I have no hesitation to say that it was a, the promise was a mere eyewash, sir. They deliberately, Congress party has deliberately failed to include special category status in the reorganization bill, then it would have, be, it would have been legally binding on the successive government, BJP government, to implement it, sir. And it is their failure, and because of their non-implementation, the Andhra Pradesh is suffering now, sir. Sir. The Please. Congress party, Madam, 30 minutes, Honorable you Deputy Chair has me. given 30 Chair minutes. Chair, for bad, bad, comment. No I am not comment. yielding. Not and you have, uh, you, yes. have, you, have spo you have spoiled Mr. the Andhra Andy, Pradesh. You speak to the you Chair. Have you have given enough to Andhra Pradesh. Mr. Reddy. And your misrule can Mr. never you be forgotten. You have to the Chair. Chair. Sir, the Congress party, bad, the Please. Congress party was so insensitive, so insensitive to the needs of the people of Andhra Pradesh and aspirations of Andhra Pradesh, it could have easily enforced, I, INC could have easily enforced the special category status by in, incorporating in the bill, um, reorganization bill, which they have failed to do so. They, when they have failed to do so, they can't blame the others for that. Sir, after reorganization bill was assented by the President on 1st March, Madam, please note down, 1st March 2014, 1st March 2014, the Congress party had three full months, three entire months to pass Union Cabinet resolution for special category purpose, status, which they have, in fact, it has been incorporated and Cabinet has been, uh, Cabinet has uh, passed a resolution. Then, what happened? The, the, the resolution has been sent, the Cabinet resolution has been sent to the Planning Commission.
where was the necessity in the past when the other states have been bifurcated and other states have been uh, granted special category status congress party has never sent the proposal to planning commission this is the first time it means that the congress party has no real intention to give grant special category status for the state of andhra pradesh it is only delayed tactics delay tactics sir they fail to do so because this is because congress party special category status was just an electoral issue they thought by offering special category status this bill would be passed and then passed smoothly and then they'll come to power in telangana that is what they have expected and telangana people of telangana have people of telangana have taught a lesson to them congress party congress party has not come to power in telangana even after giving by after by bifurcating the state now they have suffered now after 10 years after 10 years they have they have told so many lies and then they have come to power to in telangana please it is only matter of time sir the government is going to fall your government in telangana is going please to fall it is only matter of time vijay sai reddy ji sir it is it is the hypocrisy it is the hypocritical attitude of the congress party and congress politicians are now including i am particularly referring to manik manikyam tagur every day he is i think from tamil nadu every day he claims to be the in charge he claims okay. to be the we'll in see. charge of andhra we'll pradesh see. we'll see I mean, it what see i i can confidently say let him let Ma- yes, we'll let see. manikam tagur yes. we'll come see. on to this come on to the we'll public examine. debate we'll examine i can yes. i can tell more about andhra pradesh than manik manikam tagur please sir <coughs> and for ajit and he is blaming he is blaming ysr cp manikam tagur with the support of other political congress leaders local state, state leaders blaming ysr cp for not demanding the special category status uh, uh, from bjp which is which is factually not correct i'll come to that point also sir sir that, that is what the hypocrisy of the congress party sir congress party congress i have no hesitation to say the congress party is the real culprit when it comes to the andhra pradesh when it comes to the damaging the interest of andhra pradesh sir mere fingering the mere pointing the finger mere pointing the finger will not change the reality they have to realize that sir ysr cp has always been at the forefront for demanding the special category status even after bjp has come to power sir our honorable chief minister sri jagan mohan reddy garu has met honorable prime minister more than 8 times <coughs> honorable home minister more than 12 times and ask for special category status i will tell you i i will tell you i will address that see when bjp has got 303 seats in 2019 elections where was the necessity for them to when you you have failed to do so when you had an opportunity to do so when you had an opportunity to grant the special category status you have not done that when bjp got 303 seats in lok sabha in 2019 elections and where was the necessity for them ultimately eventually who who is who is at the last it is the state of andhra pradesh it is the people of andhra pradesh who whose interest have been damaged sir i am telling you now in this platform last 2019 elections bjp got 300 and odd seats and now cephalogists say that bjp is going going to get more than 350 where is the congress party bjp will never never hit to any other political party if they get 350 in, in ensuring next elections congress is going to get less than 40 and their own their own alliance partner their own alliance partner says that they will get only less than 40 it is not me it is on record you verify the record we say yes i read the address to chair please sir mps member of parliaments of our own party ysr congress party not only our chief minister has met the honorable prime minister and also honorable home minister our own mps on countless times raised this issue including myself on the floor of this house as well as in the floor of the, on the floor of the lok sabha but we couldn't do anything bjp has never heeded our our request 
and we have agitated, we have requested them, we have begged them, we have, we have pleaded with them, nothing. There was no use. When they have not done that, when they had an opportunity, BJP also is not doing it. When they are in a position to do it, eventually Andhra Pradesh is the victim. Sir, by making hollow promises, hollow promises in the parliament, Congress had made mockery of the, our parliamentary democracy. This is what the conclusion is, sir. Sir, the next point. Sir, another 15 minutes. Yes, you have time. I have an opportunity to criticize them another 15 minutes. Please. Sir, at the time of bifurcation, the Congress government has been in power for 10 years. I have told you, sir, 2004 to 2014. And they have done the damage. See, sir, in fact, I draw your kind attention to the manifesto of Congress party which they have released in 2004. In 2004, in their manifesto, they have promised separate Telangana. Suresh Shuddhan. They have promised in 2004, they have promised separate Telangana in their manifesto. Please, please. Hmm. So, it, it was the Congress manifesto which has, uh, uh, which has stated separate Telangana. Sir, they had full 10 years, full 10 years, the whole decade to create Telangana in, the, in a rational, they could have done it in a more rational and scientific manner. The bifurcation could have been more scientific and more rational. They have not done that. Why they have not done that? They wanted to take only electoral benefit. Their real intention is not to benefit the people of Andhra Pradesh or not to benefit the people of Telangana. It is only for their electoral benefits. They have done it and they are suffering, sir. Sir, they could have constituted, I am telling you, you could have constituted second reorg state reorganization committee for this purpose. They have not done that for reorganization of, to ensure that bifurcation is done in a more planned manner. They have not done that. Sir, the Congress, the Congress party has been sleeping for one decade, one full ten years. Why did Congress party choose a shortcut method for bifurcation? Shortcut method. You wanted, you want, you wanted, for everything you wanted sh shortcut method, sir. Uh, just in ten days before the notification of 2014 elections, they have taken the shortcut method and they have they have completed the process. This is what the Congress party is. Sir, sir, it is because of Congress. The bifurcation was never about the welfare of the two successor state, two successor states. It is not their concern. The welfare of the people is not their concern. The Congress party has done, was just, what Congress party has done is just a sheer electoral opportunism, opportunism. There is nothing else, sir. Sir, they knew. Sir, in fact, please go back to the uh, uh, electoral records of the composite Andhra Pradesh, sir. During 2004 and also to the, to, during 2000 uh, uh, elections prior to 2014, UPA, during UPA 1 and UPA 2, Andhra, composite Andhra Pradesh has contributed maximum number of MPs. It is because of Cong composite Andhra Pradesh and contribution from the contribu uh, from composite Andhra Pradesh, they have come to power at the center. And they have, in the other states, they have got nothing. They have almost got out of 42, they got almost about 39 from the composite Andhra Pradesh. 37, UPA formation, UPA 1, they got 37, and UPA 2, they got 33. That is the contribution. Because of AP composite, AP, they, they have come to power in two, AP, UPA 1 as well as UPA 2. However, in 2014, sir, since their chances, they have realized, they have completely misruled the state, composite state of Andhra Pradesh. And they have realized that they are not going to come to power. At least, they thought by bifurcating the state, they could come to power in Telangana and uh, they, at least leaving, leaving behind Andhra Pradesh. That was their idea and the bifurcation of state to generate favor only to favor favorable electro electoral result in Telangana. The people of Telangana also have taught a lesson to them. That's a different issue, sir. Sir, the Congress was the main villain. They are the villains. 
Congress was the main villain in this entire episode of special category status and also bifurcation. They took the division of the state and the people merely to serve their own political motives, merely to serve their own uh, uh, ulterior motives, merely uh, with an ambition to come to power in Telangana. Sir, the, sir, I would like to say one thing, sir. The non-Congress governments, non-Congress governments have created, whenever they have created new states, it is only con Congress specific, sir. Whenever new states have been created by the non-Congress state uh, governments, like Chhattisgarh, Jharkhand, Uttarakhand, all these states have been bifurcated and carved out from the main, main uh, uh, other states in a most peaceful and scientific manner, which they have not done. They couldn't do it. Why? Because of their ulterior motives. Then evil intentions to stay back in power by whatever the, what, whatever, whatever the means, and, means and bounds. Sir, Sir, Congress party has failed in, in regard to two, two, two aspects, sir. They have failed they have failed to arrive at the consensus, consensus for AP Reorganization Act at the state level. At the state level, they have failed. They were, they were, they were in the power. They were ruling the state. Congress party was ruling the Andhra Pradesh. And they have failed to, they have failed to create consensus. And your own government, and yes. your, your yes. chief minister, the then chief, Mandel, the then chief minister, minister, Mr. Mr. Kiran Kumar Reddy, Mr. Reddy. Yes. the then yes. chief minister, Mr. Kiran Kumar Reddy, you have failed to arrive at consensus. You have failed, to, you have failed, you have failed to create consensus within the state. Sir, the second, the second thing, sir. They have failed to get their own party people Kripea, to anonymously agree for Please. the bill. Sir, they have, in fact, their own Congress members have opposed the bill. Shame. Shame to the Congress party. They, their own members on the floor of this house as well as in the house of the Lok Sabha, they have opposed the bill tooth and nail. They have failed to arrive at the consensus. They have failed to anonymously, to bring anonymous, anonymous uh, 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 consensus, agree uh, among the members to agree on the bill, sir. Sir, these points are very important, sir. The last points about the Congress party. And I have, I, I, I pray God that the Congress party should be punished for the uh, misrule, what they have, injustice, what they have done to the state of Andhra Pradesh, sir. Sir, in the light of all these betrayals, in the light of all these betrayals by the Congress party, the people of AP have now learnt never to trust spineless Congress party. I have no hesitation to call them as spineless Congress party. And I'll put a step forward, sir. And, and if you permit me, I call them as Doke Baas party. Permit within the <laughs> Doke Baas party. Yes. Please. You are playing politics, family politics. See, family issue. Don't bring family issues into the political arena. Vijay Sai Reddy ji, address to the chair. That is the reason why. Please, seat पर बैठ करना बोलें. See, this is the reason why. That is the that is the reason why. You are dirty tactics. You are dirty tactics. And dirty planning. Mani, Vijay Sai Reddy ji, keep and keep in mind parliamentary words. And inter intervening, parliamentary intervening words. in the family affairs. Please. That is the reason why people have learnt le taught a lesson to you. That is, sir. That is the reason, sir. Important, sir. This. Seat पर बैठ करना बोले आपकी बात record पे नहीं जा रही है. Sir, Vijay Sai Reddy ji की बात record पे जा रही है. Please. I am not yielding, madam. Please. Sir, this is the reason why, this is the reason why the vote share of Doke Baj party, party Aap in Andhra Pradesh in 2019 kare. election was less than Nota. See the, see the percentage what they have got in Andhra Pradesh. Percentage of votes polled to the Congress party in 2019 elections in Andhra Pradesh by uh, Congress party is less than Nota votes. Shame, shame. 
the Congress party, which has ruled the state, which has ruled the country for so many decades, has got less number of votes. They have polled, uh, polled uh, when compared to the even less than nota, nota votes, sir. Sir, even at the national level. So leave about Andhra Pradesh. It is only one state. I will come to the national level. Sir, at the national level, the downfall of Congress party is very clear. Sir, very visible. Sir, in 2014 election, in 2014 elections, Congress party has won 44 seats with a vote share of 19.31%. 19.31%, they have won 44 seats. This is the worst ever performance of the Congress party, Dokabas party, in the general elections. Sir, in Dokabas 2000... Dokabas, these are all the parliamentary, hai, it will ah, be examined, sir, please. Sir, in 2019 elections, five more minutes are there, four more minutes are there. 2019 elections, Congress party has won 52 seats. From 44, they have slightly gone up to 2052, 44 to 52 with a vote share of 19.46%. 19.46%. Sir, even their own allies, India, they call it India, INDIA. Their own... Please India. speak to the chair. Even their own allies of Congress party are saying that Congress will not even get 40 seats in 2024. The next elections which are going to be held in April 2024, Sir, last year, the Please. cephalogist, cephalogist, do, I am not an astrologer. Please. Last year, last year, their beloved leader, their beloved leader, Rahul Gandhi ji, last in Amedi, last in Amedi, this time he will lose from wherever he contests, wherever he contests, Rahul Gandhi ji will be, will be losing. He will not win. He will not become, he will not be able to become a parliamentarian. Please, please. Sir, whether it is Andhra, Kerala or anywhere in the country, let him contest. He will not be able to win. In, but in 2029, sir, but in 2029, in, in, madam, please, India, very important for you, very important. In 2029, sir, in 2029, India will be Congress Mukt Bharat, Congress Mukt Bharat, that is the status, the status of Congress party will change from grand old party to grand extinct party, grand old party will become grand extinct party and the Congress party will not be there and 2029 also I will be here, I will be here and I will I will, I'll see Congress party is extincting, extincting, sir. sir. Conclusion, sir. And uh, two more minutes are there. Sir, in this 77 years of independence, 77 of ind years of independence, Congress has, has been in power for more than 50 years. Out of 77, more than 50. And India has grown only in the remaining 27 years, not in the 20, 50 years. Only in the remaining 20 years, India has grown. The development, what we are able to see, what we are able to achieve, it is not during their 50 years of rule, it is only in the remaining 27 years of rule, sir. India's growth has not been because of the Congress party, but despite it, despite it, sir, very important, madam, whenever, yes. and whenever, whenever Congress party has been in power, India has prolonged period of backwardness. Whenever these 50 years, whenever they are in power, and we have seen the prolonged backwardness. Sir, very important, sir. Very important. This slogan has to be remembered by the Congress party, and they have to, they, they have to put it on their party walls on the party, sir, in the party. There is no doubt, there is no doubt in anyone's mind that India grows only when Congress sleeps. India grows only when Congress sleeps. I am repeating it, sir. India grows only when Congress sleeps. Sir, the people of Andhra Pradesh, once again I am telling, will never forgive the Congress party. The Congress party has gone into the history in Andhra Pradesh. Sir. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you.